Hello, my beautiful students. How are you today? I hope that you are pretty, pretty cool. <laughs> I'm pretty, pretty good. It was a real pleasure to have the opportunity to be with you. Uh, well, yesterday during the class, I believe that there are some questions related to um, future tenses, but don't worry because we are going to be talking about that during our next uh, video, I believe it. I believe so. Uh, let's start with something specific that I have here for you today, okay? We are going to have a general review, and after that, we are going to continue with our topic for today. Then I believe that we are going to be having a general review about some topics. <laughs> that it's okay. Remember that if you have questions, suggestions, and so on, you can let me know, and we will be solving them. So. Let's start with our class for today because we are going to start with something that is going to be pretty, pretty interesting. What could it be that? Well, let me tell you, um, that is going to be this. But first of all, I would like to say hello. I wish you a wonderful, 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 wonderful day. And I hope that you can be learning a lot and that you can be practicing a lot with this. Okay, let's start with this that I have here for you, and here we go. Let's get the party started. Well, during the last class, we were talking about question tags. Do you remember? <laughs> yes, we were talking about this topic. And we were saying that a question tag is a short question at the end of a statement. And um, question tags are used when asking for agreement or confirmation. Do you remember that we were doing this? <laughs> I hope that you do. Well, let's continue. And we were saying that if you're going to be saying something affirmative, you need to ask with something negative. And if you are going to be asking or saying, um, mentioning something in a negative statement, your question tag had to be affirmative, okay? The and we were talking about intonation and meaning. That was great. Okay, so let's start, let's continue with this. We were talking about the tenses that if we were going to be uh, talking or speaking in present, your question tag had to be in present, okay? If you were going to be saying something in present simple, your question tag has to be in present simple, okay? If you are going to be mentioning something in present continuous, your question tag has to be in present continuous, okay? They are similar, they are parallels. <laughs> If you are going to be saying something with modal verbs, you need to ask with modal verbs, okay? That is going to be um, the situation that we are going to be having. Also, we were having different, 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 different examples with this. But before to continue, let me know what examples do you remember? Excellent. That's perfect. I'm going to be making. In a better way, no? Well, now that you were giving me some examples about this topic, let's start with some examples that we were learning. When we are going to be having positive statements or negative statements, no, we are going to be talking in affirmative or negative way. You, we are going to be saying that yes or no, for example, no in few words. I remember if I'm going to be saying or mentioning or uh, um, uh, say a positive statement, my question tag is going to be negative. And if my statement is going to be mentioning that no or saying that no, my question tag has to be affirmative. Or I mean, saying that yes. For example, the children pass the test, don't they? Because it is in present. They can dance gratefully, can't they? 
Mary should go to work, shouldn't she? Did you remember? Go out, will you? We were explaining uh, why we were going to be using will, right? Let's eat out, shall we? Do you remember that we were talking about shall also? Or with negative statements, we won't solve this problem, will we? <laughs> Helen can submit a report, can she? I didn't do my homework, homework did I? I, uh, I prefer my sandwich in English, in past, no? Didn't I? That is how we are going to be working with our question tags. Very good. After that, we were uh, reminding how we are going to be forming our questions word, uh, words that are questions, sorry. Uh, remember that this is going, we are going to be using question tags in order to ask for what? Don't forget it. Agreement or confirmation, exactly. Is that, for example, in Spanish, when we say, oye, vas a ir a trabajar o no? That's my tag question or my question tag. Okay, for agreements or confirmations. Super cool and excellent. Very good. After that, we were learning about this. Let's continue with this that I have here for you. Uh, we were talking about the difference between I and me when we are going to be using each one of them. Do you remember? <laughs> Excellent, because let's start now with conditionals. Ooh, conditionals, what is this or what are these? Well, let me tell you that here with our conditionals, we are going to be making of uh, use of if, the word if. If, 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 we are going to be dreaming a lot. Ooh, dreaming a lot, yes. For example, here we go. The conditionals are going to be having or are going to have two sentences. Well, two clauses, okay? The conditional sentences, they have two clauses. Two clauses, yes, these. You are going to be having your condition and also you are going to be having your result. Ooh, that sounds creepy. Yeah, it is going to be super easy. Remember, two clauses, condition and result. The condition or the situation and the result that you are going to be getting, okay? We are going to be having a lot, a lot of conditionals. Actually, only four. <laughs> Zero, first, second, third, and mixed conditionals. But for that reason, we are going to start first of all with our zero conditional. Zero conditional, what is that? Ah, is this that I'm going to be showing you in this moment? So let's start with the zero conditional. Ah, what is that? Oh, well, I mean, zero condition is uh, when we are going to be talking about general truths, habits, real world, scientific uh, facts, and so on. Ooh. But remember that you are going to be having a condition and a result for that condition, okay? I'm not getting the conditions. Uh, I'm going to tell you. How we are going to be using this if my star is going to be the word if. If something in present simple and your result is going to be in present simple. For example, if it rains, the ground gets wet. This is the condition. Let me show you. This is going to be the condition and this is going to be the result. If it rains, si llueve, the ground gets wet. El eh, piso se moja, no? It has to be the condition first and then the result. And remember that this is going to be present simple and present simple, okay? 
how we are going to be using these conditionals in order to talk about general truths like this, that is a general truth, okay? For habits, for the real world, or for scientific facts, okay? I have another, for example, if I cry, I have a headache. It's like, I don't know, my scientific fact, <laughs> no. it's my habit, something that used to happen, no? It's a general truth for me. Or if you mix yellow and blue, you get green. Mm. That's a general truth. That's a real word. That is a scientific fact. If you are tired, you go to bed early. Mm. If you're tired, you go to bed early. If you have, uh, if you leave the object, it drops. If you pour oil on water, it floats. It's a scientific fact. It's a general truth, okay? It's a real word. If you smoke, you get old early. It's a general truth. It's a scientific fact, okay? It is a real word. If you leave the object, it drops. Ooh, it's like a general truth. It's a scientific fact, okay? That is going to be the zero conditional. Present and present, something that happens in present that has a consequence in the present. Una cuestión, una, co eh, una condición que pasa en el presente y tiene su resultado en el presente. For example, if you leave ice in the sun, that is a condition. If you leave ice in the sun, it melts. That is the result, but as you can see here, Everything, everything is in present simple. This is going to be almost like the question tags or tag questions, no? Present with present, past with past. Actually, in this zero conditional, if you're going to be mentioning a, um, a condition in present, your result has to be in present here with the zero conditional, okay? Remember to close the condition with the word if. Si, sí, pasa esto, si, sí, yo hice el otro, si, sí, esto pasa. Oh, that is my first one with my word first. And then, comma, I got my result. The zero conditionals are used in facts that are generally true and don't change. It is going to refer to a general situation that always happens if a condition is met. Oh my goodness. That is how we are going to be making use of this. Remember, condition and result, but they are going to be separated by a comma while you are writing. If you stand in the rain, coma, you get wet. But you know what? We can switch the clauses. We can switch the clauses. Instead of saying, if you stand in the rain, you get wet, you can write first of all, or you can mention, you can mention first of all the result and then the condition like this. You get wet if you stand in the rain. If you stand in the rain, you get wet. You get get uh, you get wet if you stand in the rain. If you stand in the rain, coma, you get wet. What difference could you see here? What was the difference that you could see here? Tell me. Excellent. That in the first one, you are going to be having a period. If you stand in the rain, period, or so, or sorry, comma, you get wet. But if you are going to be writing first of all the result and then the condition, you don't need any comma. You get wet if you stand in the rain. Ah, you can switch them, okay? First the condition, then res the result, or first the result, and then the condition. Those are going to be the ways that we are going to be writing or zero condition. And that remember that are used for facts that are general, true, and do not change. 
Okay, we are going to be talking to, uh, about a general situation that always happens in a condition, if a condition is met. Como si la situación, la condición se conociera. For examples, for example, if it rains, you get wet. It's a scientific fact. It's real life. It's something uh, that is going to happen. If it rains, you get wet. Ooh, your condition and your result. Or you can say, you get wet if it rains. Te, yo, te mojas si llueve, si llueve te mojas. Or for example, if water gets below freezing, it turns into ice. It turns into ice. Hey, that is how we are going to be mentioning this. If water gets below freezing, ta, 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 that is my condition. It turns into ice. That is the consequence. Or I can uh, switch them. Uh, the water turns into ice if it gets below freezing that is simple the only thing that we are going to be ordering is the subject but after that that's cool that's easy what do you think the zero, zero conditional remember if plus your condition and your result if it rains coma we get wet the general truth it's something general that we already know that it is going to be happening scientific facts oh if the water boils it is not cold that is something scientific it is proved by other in instances that is how we use zero conditional if it rains we get wet if the water bear, water boils, it is not cold. I am sorry, I'm going to pick up. In zero conditional, let me tell you that you can use if or when. If the temperature is zero degrees or Celsius, it is not. When the temperature is zero, great, centigrade, it is no oh if or when if or when that's how we are going to be using for example if ice cream gets warm it melts ice cream melts if it gets warm can you see it what could it be the situation here Exactly, that is going to be. Remember, um, your condition and your result, or you can uh, write it in a different way. Your, your result and your condition, okay? Remember, if you are going to be writing, first of all, the condition and then the result, you need to write a comma. But if you are going to be uh, writing, first of all, uh, the result and then the condition, you don't need to write a comma, okay? And you can be changing them, changing them. Very good. Now, zero conditional. If the telephone rings present, it makes a noise. If water evaporates, uh, or for example, water evaporates, if you boil it, okay? In the first one, you have the condition and then the result. And the second one, you have, first of all, the result and then the conditional. If the telephone rings, period, a comma, it makes a no, it makes a noise. That is making use of the conditional first. But if I want to talk about the result first, we you don't need a, a coma. Water evaporates if you boil it. Ooh. Easy or difficult? That's how we are going to be making use of zero conditional. 
What do you think? ¿Qué duditas hay? It's not so difficult, right? <laughs> Remember, zero conditional for scientific facts. Okay, general truths, routines that we are going to be having. In present, my condition is in present. My result is going to be in present, okay? Present simple and present. That's what we are going to be having, okay? Well, in order to practice this, we are going to be having some exercises that are going to be pretty, pretty useful. They are, multi they are going to be of multiple shows. And for that reason, let me show you this. Let's start with zero conditional. Eh. And here we go. Let me share with you my screen. And excellent. Let's try to practice with this, okay? If you don't tell her the truth, she angry with you. Well, what do you think? What could it be the answer? Is your difficult? <laughs> okay, let's start with something easier, okay? Let's start with this. I'm going to stop that exercise and we are going to go to other one, or to another one, and then we will come back to that, okay? So, zero conditional. Let's start with this. If, what could it be? How we are going to be forming the zero conditional? If present simple, past simple, will or good? Yes, present simple. If, I don't know what, what is the result? In what tense? Present simple, past simple, will or good? Okay, present simple. If present simple equal present simple. Very good. Now, for example, here we have different, different, different questions. Let's start only with the zero conditional, okay? Then we are going to continue with the first conditional. Okay, if you hit ice, it melts. That's a general truth, there is a scientific fact. You sleep well, can you see here? We have our result first of all, and then our condition. You sleep well if you drink a glass of milk in the evening. Okay, you sleep well if you drink a glass of milk in the evening. That's one. Number two, what do you think about the number two? If you, my condition is first. If you, if you what, if you what? If you run very fast, your face gets red. First of all is the condition, then we have the result. In the first one, first of all, we were having the reason and then the, um, the clause, the condition. Very well. What about the number three? You, you get pink if you, if you what? If you mix red and white, excellent. You get pink if you mix red and white. That's great. Little children, what? Cry. If they, if they what? If they are hungry, remember present and present, the verb to be is part of the present tense of the present simple. 
And we are talking about they. We cannot say if they be hungry. No, remember present simple with present simple. If somebody tell you a secret, you you don't tell it to anybody else. Don't tell. Can I use negative questions, Miss? Yes, indeed. You can be using negative questions or negative sentences. It's okay, no problem. Remember, you can do almost everything, but first you need to be sure that this is in the context, but also that your grammar is correct, okay? Number six, if plants, not get, don't, I don't get, because it's present simple. If plants don't get enough water, they, if plants don't get enough water, they don't, Up. Si las plantas no tienen suficiente aguarita en el presente, they don't grow up, ellas no crecen. That is how we are going to be using this. Ay, Dios. Let me. Water. Don't get enough water. Le escribí todo para que fueras viendo cómo quedaba. They don't grow. Excellent. You not cross the street if the condition is at the end. If there, I don't know, a red light. How could it be this? You don't cross the street if there is a red light, okay? There is the verb to be, is, because I'm talking about red light. That is going to be why we are going to be using this. If it rains, the road, adios. The road becomes, con este porque estoy hablando de una tercera persona, the road becomes, becomes wet and slick, húmedo y resbaladizo. That is going to be my zero conditional. Oh my God, that we were working a lot with that. Are we going to be checking, okay? One, two, three, vamos a sacar vaquito porque no hicimos lo demás. Check my answers. Three of ten. No worry. It is necessary that we can do the rest of the exercise. Vamos a hacer el resto del ejercicio. Was it easy or difficult? Three. Yes, because we are missing the first, the second, and the third. That was how we are going to be forming the zero condition. But now let me practice with you with this one, another one, only zero conditional. You let me know which one of these ones is going to be the correct answer. For example, number one, when I stay up late, I am tired the next morning. Or when I am tired the next morning, I am st I stay up late. What could it be? When I stay up late, I am tired tomorrow. Next morning, when I uh, when I'm tired the next morning, I st stay up late. No, what could it be? Delay. 
Well, maybe. Number two. <laughs> My little brother cries when he loses games. Letter B. My little brother loses games when he cries. How could it be this zero conditional? Remember, present with present. My little brother cries. Number three. Coffee tastes better when you add a little sugar. B, when coffee tastes better, you add a little sugar? No, for that reason, it is the letter A. Coffee tastes better when you add a little sugar. Can you understand what you are saying? Is it right? Well, that was the number two. Let's continue with the number four. When I stay at home, I usually feel sick. I usually stay at home when I feel sick. What can you say? What could it be the correct one? What do you think? Well, it could be A, it could be B. What do you think? It could be A or B. Well, let's pretend that it's a letter B. Now, number five. When I start to lose weight, I go on a diet. When I go on a diet, I start to lose weight. What do you think? That could be letter, letter B, maybe. Six, if it rains, I take my umbrella to work. If I take my umbrella to work, it rains. What do you think? Excellent, that's well, I believe that it could be letter, letter. <laughs> Number seven, when Thomas watches his favorite TV program, he feels bored. Thomas watches his favorite TV program when he feels bored, feels bored. What do you think? That could be the letter B because of the sentence. Carla cries when she watches sad movies. When Carla cries, she watches sad movies. What could it be? Well, maybe the letter A. Me estoy imaginando así como que la E, la B, lo que me están diciendo. Dije, bueno, well, vamos a poner lo que diga el público. Vamos a checar, tienen que haber malas. Tienen que haber malas para aquella retroalimentación. My boss is always angry when I am late for work. I am always late for my, my work when my boss is angry. Okay. Let's pretend there is the letter A. Now, lots of people, eh, lots of people go shopping when that store has a sale. When lots of people go shopping, that store has a sale. What do you think? Mm, I know, it's a kind of, it is not difficult. Maybe it could be a little confusing, but you can do it. Well, let's pretend that is the letter A. Okay, number 11. Most dishes break if you drop them on the floor. If most dishes break, you drop them on the floor. Which one has more sense? Okay, that could be the letter A. Number 12, when Sam doesn't feel well, he travels by boat. Mm. When Sam 
troubles by both. He doesn't feel well. Okay, when Sam doesn't feel well, he travels by boat. When Sam travels by boat, he doesn't feel well. Okay, that could be the letter B. You should be in a movie theater when you are quiet. You should be quiet when you are in a movie theater. What do you think? You should be quiet, maybe. Okay. Animals die if they don't get enough, enough food. If animals die, they don't get enough, enough food. What could it be? Okay, let's say that is the letter A. 15, when Edward smiles, he always gets an A plus in his exams. When Eduardo gets an A plus on his exams, he always smiles. Both are like correct, no? But we need to infer the real meaning that we are looking for. What could it be the real meaning? Okay, let's see if, if, if it is a letter B. <laughs> now, People like swim in the ocean when sharks bite them. Ooh. Sharks sometimes bite people when they swim on in the ocean. As you can see, both sentences are correct. They are correct. The situation is which one has the best meaning for the situation that we are reading about. Mm, let's see. Now, let's see why we get some mistakes and why we didn't get some mistakes. One, two, one, two, three. Okay, nothing. <laughs> I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. <laughs> That was a zero conditional, okay? Remember, one, one, one condition that is going to be having a result, but present simple with present simple. Affirmative with negative, negative with affirmative. It, it's okay, no problem, no worry, but the most important thing is that how you are going to be creating and understanding and also expressing the situations, okay? That was the zero conditional. Remember, in zero conditionals, you can use if or you can use when, as we were um, learning in the exercises. If the temperature is 15 degrees, it is snows. When the temperature is 15 degrees, it is cold. Mm. As it as a, a condition and the result for that condition, or you can change them, you can twist them. The result, first of all, and then the condition. That's also. If ice cream gets warm, it melts. Ice cream melts if it gets warm. These are our examples. Ecole. If the telephone rings, it makes a noise. When the telephone rings, it makes a noise. It's the same, it's exactly the same. Water evaporates if you boil it. If you boil water, it evaporates. It's the same, but first of all, the condition and then the result, or first of all, the result and then the condition. Obviously, we are not going to say, if you, if you boil it, water evaporates. No, we need to fix the subjects, okay? If you boil water, it evaporates. Uh, and we were practicing with these exercises that are going to be for you. Wow, that was the zero conditional. Let's continue with the first conditional. Remember, zero conditional, 
one condition and the, uh, the result, but they are going to be in present and present talking about scientific facts, routines, or general situations. Now, with the first conditional, jan, 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 we are going to be having another different situations. First conditional. Ah, when I am going to be making use of, uh, of the first conditional. Ah, well, let me tell you. If you want to talk about possibilities, but possibilities in the present or in the future, you are going to be making use of if, with, will, okay? What with future present, uh, future present, simple future or future simple, okay? But remember that the first condition in, uh, uh, conditional is going to be in order to talk about possibilities in the present or in the future. Possibilities in the present or in the future. How can I do that, Miss? Ah, well, let me show you. If it rains, you are not going to say, if it rains, I stay at home. No, that is the zero conditional. We need to have the first conditional with something that will be happening in the future or maybe in the present, but with the future. Will, you are going to be making use of will. All right. No. If it rains, I will stay at home. If that happens, I will do something, okay? That is how we are going to be working with the first conditional. If it rains, I will stay at home. If I wake up late, I will miss the bus. If I don't wake up late, I won't miss the bus. Can I be saying something in negative form or saying that no? Indeed, you can be using this in order to say that no also. It's okay for us, no problem. If it doesn't rain, I won't stay at home. I can change it for negative situations that are meaning something positive. That is how we are going to be forming this. Well, for example, and if it is sunny, we will go to the park or, and if it's sunny, we'll go to the park. If it is not sunny or if it isn't sunny, we won't go to the park or affirmative and negative. If it is not cold, we will go to the park. Ah different ways that we can be using these affirmative and negative negative and negative no affirmative and affirmative and so on the structure has to be written in a very good way and also how you are going to be using these possibilities in the present or in the future and you need to use will if one lives Paula will be sad. It is something that is going to be happening in the future. If you do something in the present, your result is going to be in the future, okay? That this is the, in few words, how we are going to be making use of first conditional. Zero conditional, if you do something in present, your result is going to be in present. First conditional, if you do something in present or if you don't do something in the present tense, your result is going to be on the future tense, but will, okay? If I find your email, I will send you the picture or I can change. I will send you the picture if I find your email. Ooh. There are not a lot of things that we can be changing from this. If you study her when today in the present, you will pass your exams when in the future. You are talking about these kind of possibilities that we are going to be having. But remember the condition. <coughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. The condition something that you need to do in order that you can get something in the future. 
that is how we are going to be uh, making use of conditionals. The conditionals, as the name says, a condition with a result, a condition for the, uh, with a result, but that result is going to be on base of that condition. You have a condition, you are going to be having a result. You have a result because you will be having a condition, okay? Condition, result, result, condition. Zero conditional, present and present. First conditional, present and ver and the modal uh, verb will. That is going to be for future, as you know. No, those are some examples. But I was, but I was telling, but as I was telling you, we can be mixing sentences, and there's no trouble with that. There is no problem with that. If I study. I will pass my exams. Excellent, that is an, a, a fact. If I don't study, I won't pass my exam. It's it is on future. I'm doing something in this moment today in the present tense in order that I can get something in the future, in order that I can get it or in order that I cannot get it in the future, okay? Can I ask, yes, if I study, will I pass my exams? Yes, you will. Oh, you can be playing with this. You can be mixing affirmative, negative, interrogative, or have all half. If I don't study, I will have troubles. Oh, if I study, I won't fail my exams. What do you think? Easy or difficult? Easy, right? Excellent. Let's go 